Jesus, sorrowful passion. For the sake of 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 Jesus, sorrowful passion. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood. So I am the unity of the Holy Beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of Jesus, sorrowful passion. 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 Eternal Father, I offer you the body and the soul and the divinity of your dearly beloved Son, of the Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of His son. 
For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, 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 eternal Father, I offer you the body and the soul and ability of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those for the whole world.
the holy God, holy mighty one, holy mighty one, have mercy on us and the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy mighty one, have mercy on us and the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy mighty one, have mercy on us and the whole world. Today, bring to me the souls those who have separated themselves from my church. Most merciful Jesus, goodness itself, you don't refuse light to those who seek it of you. Receive into the word of your most compassionate heart the souls of those who have separated themselves from your church. Draw them by your light into the unity of the church and do not let them escape from the word of your most compassionate heart but bring it about that they too come to glorify the generosity of your mercy. Eternal Father, turn your merciful gaze upon the souls of those who have separated themselves from your son's church, who have squandered their blessings and misused your graces by obstinately persisting in their errors. Do not look upon their errors, but upon the love of your son and upon his bitter passion which he underwent for their sake, since they too are enclosed in his most compassionate heart. Bring it about that they also may glorify your great mercy for endless ages. Amen. Concluding prayer, eternal God, in whom mercy is endless, and the passion of compassion, inexhaustible, look kindly upon us, and increase in our mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair, nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy name, which is now and mercy itself. Amen. We pray for the intentions of our Holy Father and our Church. Together we pray, Our Father, God in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, and deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was the beginning. We shall pray one our Father and Hail Mary, that the Lord may stop this war which is going on now, and it shall not turn out to be a world war. Let us pray together. Our Father, art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil and Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning of this time, which shall be a world of our name. Amen. Welcome, Holy Spirit. We are in your presence.
Praise the Lord, sisters and brothers. Welcome to this hour of reflection on God's word. Today I would like to discuss with you one of the most liked images of Christ in the Catholic faith or in the Christian faith. If you are to ask people, what is the image of Jesus that you like the most? I have heard many people saying that they like the image of Good Shepherd. You know Good Shepherd's image, Jesus carrying a little lamb on his shoulder. And many of them like it. Maybe it's because of that tender care that Jesus extends towards that sheep or the lad lamb. And when you study the history of the church, right from the second century in the Roman catacombs, we have images of Jesus as a good shepherd. So not only in today's Christianity, not only in today's Catholic faith or in the church that people follow this image or people like this image, but it's right from second century. It is recorded that Good Shepherd's image being liked and being there all around the churches, even in the catacombs. 
Why this very important? For a sheep, it is very important to know that whom they should follow. That is where the importance of the shepherd comes for a sheep. Sheep may find so many people as they move around. But the sheep should know who is its a shepherd and it should also know the voice of the shepherd. These two things are very important for a sheep. Otherwise it will land up in trouble. So as Christians and Catholics, when Jesus being a good shepherd to us, it is very important for us to know whom we should follow and we should also know his voice. And the one we should follow is Jesus and the one's voice that we should know is Jesus' voice. We should get familiarized with the image of Jesus so that we follow him without missing the person. We should get familiarized with the voice of Jesus so that we will follow him and we will not follow anybody else. When we have a good shepherd, he takes care of the sheep and he will not allow the enemy to destroy it. I have a beautiful Chinese story with me today for you. The story goes like this. One day a tiger was very hungry and he was out there in the forest searching for a prey to eat and finally he caught a fox. And as he was trying to kill this fox, the fox challenged the tiger saying that you do not know who I am. If you know me, that who I am, you will never dare to do this to me. I am a very important person in this forest. I am a very important person in this jungle. So you must know my power before you do something to me. Otherwise it will damage you. So the tiger was surprised that such a small creature is challenging a mighty tiger. But the tiger doesn't want to take a chance. So he said, okay, you tell me, how will I know that you are so powerful? How will I know that you are so strong in this jungle? Then the fox said, I give you a challenge. Let's go for a walk. Then we walk together throughout the jungle. And if I am respected by the other animals, even by the elephant, if they give way to me, you will understand that I am powerful. If they don't respect me, if they try to come and attack me, if they try to kill me, then you are free to kill me because you will know that I am not a big person in this jungle. Then the tiger was also very enthusiastic to take up this challenge. He said, okay, I will come with you. Let's go for a walk. And they started walking in the jungle. And as they walked through the jungle, all the animals that they came in front of them, they ran for their life, including the elephant. Though the elephant did not run, it gave away and moved from their uh, side and they mo it moved away from their way. And it went on and on and on. Throughout the jungle journey, nobody challenged this fox. And the tiger was so surprised to see and he understood, good this guy told me, otherwise I would have killed him, then something would have happened to me. He understood he is a big shot. But we know the fox is nothing in the jungle. Before lion, before elephant and before other uh, strong animals, this fox is nothing. Why then every other animal was running away as they saw this fox moving with a tiger? It's only because they were not afraid of the fox. They were afraid of the tiger. Because the tiger is strong. The tiger can kill. And tiger can eat this fellow. So they were running for their life because of the tiger. But the fox put it in such a way that because of fox, the animals were running away.
And tiger, being a foolish guy, he left this fox go. And the fox was very cunning. And he was so happy that he could fool the tiger and save his life. It sounds a silly story. But the message that we have is this. When you have a strong person, when you have a strongest person with you, no obstacles can come on your way. Nobody can challenge you. Nobody can put a threat to you. Nobody can challenge your life. Nobody can challenge your property. Nobody can challenge your family. Nobody can challenge your business. Nobody can even challenge your health, your wealth. Because everybody will be afraid of the strongest person with whom you travel. And for this fox, one of the strongest animals, probably after a lion, this is a tiger. And everybody ran for their life because they saw the fox is walking with a tiger. And they understood this fox is so good with him. And if we try to do anything to this fox, this tiger will come and attack us and kill and destroy our family. So they ran for their life. In the same way, for us Christians and Catholics, who is the strongest, the mightiest person that we can travel with is none other than the person of Jesus. When we travel with Jesus, when we walk with Jesus, when we take Jesus along with us wherever we go, whatever we do, and when we invite Jesus into whatever situations that we are into, whatever troubles that we are into, all the troubles, all our enemies, all our problems, will give way to us because it cannot stand before the power of God. It cannot stand before the power of Jesus. Take the example of the scriptural passages that we have. The demon dared to challenge God's people. Then Jesus said, come out of him. And the demon came out and that boy became normal. When they were sailing in a boat in the sea, the wind rose and their boat was tossed by the wind. Then Jesus stood up and said, Be calm. And the sea became calm. And when they were hungry, they had nothing to feed on. Then Jesus multiplied the bread and gave. So what does it mean when we have Jesus, where it is sea, to say that whether it is natural forces, whether it is demoniac or demon forces, where it is sickness, even to that extent, even death. Jesus went to the tomb of Lazarus and said, Lazarus, come out and he came out. He went to the house of Jairus and said, come out and she got up. So today, sisters and brothers, remember, if we have Jesus with us, nothing can come on our way. If we have Jesus with us, nothing can destroy us. It will save our life. It will keep us protected. It will keep us saved from all kinds of possible threats. As the fox was protected because it traveled with the tiger. So today, I invite your attention to this point. Learn to travel with Jesus. Learn to walk with Jesus. And have Jesus wherever you go, whatever you do. So nothing can come our way. Since we started off with a good shepherd and I said the strongest person that we should travel with is Jesus. So now the second step is we have already identified who the person that we should travel with. We have identified that it is as Jesus. Now whose voice that we need to get familiarized with is Jesus voice. Because John's gospel chapter 10 verse 4 we read. The shepherd walks in the front or shepherd walks ahead of them and the sheep follows him because they know his voice. The shepherd walks ahead of them and the sheep would follow him because the sheep knows his voice. So today, when you have a trouble, know that your Jesus, your good shepherd will walk in front of you and you need to just follow. And you can follow without losing your way, provided that you know his voice. So friends, today, put Jesus as the strongest person in your life. Accept Jesus as the strongest person in your life and allow him to lead you, lead your family, your children, your partner, your business and all your undertakings. 
as he leads the sheep and know his voice so that we will not heed our ears to anyone else's voice or the invitations of the enemy with this introduction i wanted to bring your attention to the common characteristics of the sheep there is a famous writer called philip keller he says there are different characteristics of a sheep let us find out together the first thing that we must know when we understand a sheep this is what he says the sheep must be free from all kinds of fear if the sheep has to lie down somewhere or the if the sheep has to be uh, peaceful at somewhere it should be free from all kinds of fear so whose responsibility is to keep the sheep out of all kinds of fear sheep cannot do it by himself or herself because it's a very weak animal compared to many other animals so it is the duty of the shepherd to keep his sheep fear from away from all kinds of fears so it is his responsibility to put a tent around and be at the doorstep watching day and night so that no enemy would barge into it and destroy his sheep so today let us understand like the sheep who will not be at peace unless it is out of all kinds of fear let us also understand no human can be at peace no human can be at rest unless we are free of all kinds of fears and who can set us free from all our fears it is only jesus can set us free from our fears and it is also understood that jesus has a responsibility to free us from our fear like the shepherd frees his sheep from fears and he said fear not i am with you our god jesus is a good shepherd who is not sitting far away from and taking care of us he is a shepherd who is always with us in the form of eucharist in the form of sacraments in the form of liturgy in the form of word of god and in the form of his presence all around he is a sh- shepherd who is with us who is not sitting away somewhere and con- trying to control and protect us so today as you travel your journey of your life remember you can be at peace you can be at rest only when you are out of fears and who can free you from your fears your jesus can free you and your jesus is a good shepherd and he is with you always isaiah 41:10 fear not i am with you the second important characteristic of a sheep to lie down if there is no harmony in the tent or in the flock the sheep will not lie down if there is an infight among the sheep in the flock they will not lie down if any of you have sheep at home or if you have observed any time of a sheep flock you would understand they would never lie down if there is a fight if there is disharmony among them and whose duty it is it is a duty of the shepherd to make sure that there is a harmony as i told you sheep cannot solve its problems sometime they fight over food sometime they fight over water sometime they fight over the prominent place in the flock sometime they fight over the most important place to lie down and there can be many reasons that the sheep can fight among themselves and unfortunately after fighting though they want to none of the sheep is capable of solving the problem which they have created among themselves the unrest that they have created the trouble that they have created the disharmony that they have brought none of them can solve it so what or who can solve it the shepherd that is where the sheep needs a shepherd as i said the sheep needs a shepherd to free them from fear so also the sheep needs a shepherd to solve their problem 
to re- remove the disharmony if you have served a shepherd a good shepherd who takes care of the sheep if they are fighting each other what he does he keeps them away one may be on the one end and the other guy who fights may be on the other end of the tent so what happens they have no opportunity to fight so if there is a fight going on over water or food he makes sure that it is given to everyone equally or according to everyone's need and this is exactly what god does today when we have a problem maybe you may be fighting over property issues today siblings fight over property issues maybe siblings fight over importance in the house sometimes we fight over money we fight over recognition we fight over names and the list goes on you can name it and we reach to a point where nobody can help us so much so the fight is become then who can help us only jesus can help us because only jesus can bring peace to a peaceless place because he himself is peace he died on the cross so that the peace can be restored which has lost in sin the peace is lost in sin but he restored it by his death and resurrection so to me when you follow the image of good shepherd it is not just a image that you liked that you follow it you should also know the beauty of this image as i said it frees us from all kinds of fears then secondly the good shepherd frees us from all kinds of disharmony in fights argument misunderstanding backstabbing and you name it whatever and the third situation that the sheep requires to lie down peacefully in the flock is this that unless it is contented unless it is contented or unless it is full the sheep will not lie down meaning to say if it has not got enough water to drink if it has not got enough grass to eat it will not lie down if it is hungry if it is thirsty it will not lie down not only it will not lie down and it will not make others also to lie down i remember as a young boy we had many of them at home the sheep and i have observed it closely if one of them is hungry maybe the others are all fed properly and they are maybe lying down and sleeping or resting but this one will go and poke or bite or pull and make everyone else get up and it start keep on bleeding throughout the day and night this can happen to us the same characteristics of a sheep can be brought to our life also sometimes some people they are not contented in their life some may be longing for love that is something which they are not made full of some may be still longing for some material blessings some may be still longing for some financial blessings or that i want name my name everywhere i want me to be first everywhere and each one has their own problems and all of us cannot solve all these problems to a certain extent we can help it has the other sheep in the flock as they are helpless with the, this guy who is not contented who is troubling others and they are helpless to help him in the same way maybe you may be a good father a loving father you may be a loving mother you may be a loving uh, uh, life partner husband or wife or a grandma or grandpa whoever it be you may be a good priest or a religious but you will not be able to make everyone happy and contented in their life and supplying all that they need who can do it jesus can do it because he is the fullness of goodness and he says whatever you want i will give it to you philippians chapter 4 verse 19 my god will fully satisfy every need of mine according to the riches and glory of christ who can satisfy you fully only jesus can satisfy you fully fully because philippians 4:19 says my god will fully satisfy all my needs as the sheep has many needs maybe grass maybe water maybe a prominent place to lie down and it goes on in the same way we also have problems as i mentioned already in this session and who can give us jesus can give us so it is important to know that jesus is the one i should be following 
and it is also important to know that it is jesus voice that we should be identifying and following the fourth requirement for a sheep to lie down in the flock is this unless they are you know accomplished accomplished in the sense all their needs are met maybe as i told if they are not full they will not lie down this is something they have their own requirements they have their own wants and needs unless that is not met they will not lie down and they will not make others also lie down as i mentioned it is to almost go hand in hand and who can give it who can make us contented who can make us full is jesus again i go back to philippians for 19 only my god can fully satisfy my needs you may have 100 people to ask for help you may be going around and telling your problems to so many people to a certain extent they will help you they may be of help for you but not everybody can solve all your problems not everybody can make you completely happy and contented and full and jesus can do it so sisters and brothers why need a good, why we need a good shepherd because only good shepherd can protect us john 10:4 the good shepherd walks in the front and the sheep follow because they know his voice so today we should know that we have a good shepherd in the person of jesus and we should know his voice so that we will not be trapped by any other voice in the old testament in genesis eve was fascinated by the voice of the crafty animal the snake the devil and she started following him and she was tempted by him and finally he made her to commit sin and also through her he made adam to commit sin and they lost the paradise today many of us as god has told them we are instructed and we are given a good shepherd if you do not know the person that we should be following if you do not know the person's voice that we should be following we can follow wrong people and we can listen to wrong people and land up in troubles and problems otherwise you examine your life you examine your family that we either didn't follow jesus didn't pay attention to the voice of jesus or we started following wrong people and wrong voices and have entered in problems and troubles so sisters and brothers today we must know whom to follow and whose voice to be listened to when you follow him when you follow his voice he will release you from all your fears he will release you from all your fears and he will see that you are contented in your life and he will see that you are made full he will see that disharmony disunity fights arguments troubles in your house in your life is sorted out as a good shepherd releases a sheep from fear being around as a good shepherd resolves the problems and disharmony in the tent or in the flock as a good shepherd makes his sheep contented as a good shepherd who makes his sheep full so also with jesus he will do it for you so have jesus with you and follow jesus when you follow jesus he is the mightiest and no enemy can come after us or in front of us and now my reflection for you is this why we need such a shepherd of course to release us from fear to bring harmony to us to make us contented to make us full we need a shepherd but even beyond that we need a shepherd for our day to day life if you analyze the life of a sheep you will understand much more we need a shepherd in our life the good shepherd the first thing that i want to say is this the sheep cannot clean himself or herself if you observed a sheep you will you would know that this is one of the cleanest animals but it cannot clean it by himself or herself who can clean the sheep it is a duty of the shepherd when he sees his sheep is dirty 
मे बी ही वुड गिव ए बाथ और ही विल वाइप इट अवे और ही हैज इज ओन वे ऑफ क्लीनिंग हिज शीप एंड अप्लाई यूर रोल एस ए शीप इन ए फ्लॉक एंड वेन यू एंड आई गेट डर्टेड हु कैन क्लीन एस बिकॉज वी आर हेल्पलेस टू क्लीन आर सेल्स हु कैन क्लीन एस इट इज जीसस एंड वॉट इज द डर्ट दैट कैन कम ऑन आ body your mind and soul and relationship and family it is a sin as a human being as a child of god the things that would dirty our life is a sin and who can clean us jesus can clean us how is he cleaning us by his precious blood as a sheep as a good shepherd who lays down one's life for his sheep he has already laid down his life shedding his blood so that none of his sheep are lost none of his sheep are in dirt he sanctifies he cleans so sisters and brothers today remember our jesus cleanses us from all our uncleanness from our unforgiveness hatred sins pride envy jealousy and the list goes on so this is the first thing that we must remember we need jesus every day as a sheep needs the shepherd every day to keep him or keep her clean we need jesus every day there is no vacation with jesus we need him every day so that we are kept clean always and everywhere the second thing that we need sheep every we need the shepherd every day it is not an occasional relationship that we have with the shepherd it is a continuous process of relationship we need shepherd every day as i said to clean us secondly we need a shepherd to protect us in the beginning itself i told you that a sheep is a helpless animal compared to many other animals and sheep cannot protect himself or herself and it needs a powerful person to protect him who can protect when an enemy a fox a tiger or a lion or something else to come to plunder and destroy who sleeps at the door post the shepherd sleeps and the enemy can only get in unless he crosses the shepherd and the the sheep the shepherd keeps watch day and night when the shepherd is awake no enemy can plunder the flock the sheep so also with jesus throughout day and night 24 hours the lord is watching over us in the book of abadia we read even if i fly high even if i go high even if i go so deep down under the sea wherever i go i can see you watching over me so sisters and brothers this is the watchfulness of god wherever you go whatever we do god's eyes are watching us and that watchfulness of jesus is protecting us as a shepherd protects his sheep so please understand the importance of jesus as a good shepherd in your life then third the shepherd is important for a sheep every day because the sheep cannot find food by itself Psalm 23 we read the good shepherd takes the sheep for water and also the good shepherd takes the sheep for grazing we read the shepherd leads his flock to a green pastures because the sheep cannot find food or water by himself or herself it needs someone and shepherd so sisters and brothers we need jesus in our day to day life who will take us to green pastures this green pastures it's not about just the grass it's not just about the food it's not just about the water the blessings that is we are praying for blessings we are praying for the blessings which we awaited the blessings which we are seeking for it can be healing it can be miracles it can be anything that you are praying for and this prayer is the longing in our hearts as a sheep needs to eat this prayer in our hearts this longing is a desire for the sheep to drink water and the shepherd knows and when we pray it's like the sheep bleating when we pray the lord takes us to green pastures he takes us to blessings he gives us blessings and he makes us happy 
Then, finally, one of the characteristics of the sheep is the sheep is not very intelligent animal. So also we the human beings. We try to portray ourselves that we know everything. We try to present ourselves that we know everything under the sun. But look at our own life. Examine our life, examine our conscience in spite of giving us several warnings throughout the scripture, right from Genesis till Revelation, time and again, through the homilies, through the preaching, through retreats, through the scripture. We are being warned by God, warned by the church, the possible threats. It's, give, it's been told to us that the enemy, the devil is lurking on the door, waiting for an opportune time to get into and plunder and destroy because the enemy comes to steal, kill and destroy. But still, many a times that you and I have fallen, pray for this devil and the crafty animal and his work. That proves that we are not intelligent. We are not very sharp. So, if we start walking without Jesus, because we are not that intelligent, we can be easily fooled. We can be easily taken for a ride by the enemy, the evil one. So, we need shepherd every day. Not just a shepherd, a good shepherd. As I told you, we cannot be clean by ourselves. We need someone to clean. That cleanliness is brought to us by forgiving our sins. We cannot find our own place to eat and drink. Someone has to take us or bring us. And Jesus does that. We cannot defend ourselves and the Lord defends us. We can be easily fooled because we are not intelligent. And God gives us the wisdom. God gives us the knowledge. God gives us the discernment through his Holy Spirit. So that we are guided properly. Long and short of it, what is important and highlight of this is that we should know whom we should be following and we should know whose voice that we should be following. It is Good Shepherd and it is the voice of God. Let's pause for a while and pray to the Good Shepherd, the beautiful image of Jesus. How carefully, how tenderly he takes care of the sheep. He comes in the middle to save our life, even at the cost of giving his life. So we pray, O oh Good Shepherd, my Jesus, be with me to protect me, to release me from all kinds of my fears, to release me from all kinds of my imprudence, to protect me from the enemy. Be with me so that I am full, I am contented, I am happy. Be with me so that I am clean and sanctified. Be with me so that I am intelligent and wise. Be with me so that there shall not be any disharmony in me or in my family. Good Shepherd, Jesus, give me the grace to understand that you are the only Good Shepherd. Give me the grace to understand that your voice is the only voice that I should be following. Nobody else and no other voice. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise to Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise you, Holy Spirit. We worship you. We are glory. We are glory. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Everyone. Everyone. Praise you, God. Everyone. Praise you, God. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, by the power of the precious blood of the Lord, every block that you have in your life, they will release right now in the name of Jesus. Whatever the blocks that you have in your life, you receive God's blessing. We release right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, you untie all the doors of the life of your children. Every place where the blessing is blocked, we will release right now. Where the blessing of healing is being denied right now, let it happen in the name of Jesus. Thank you.
May the blood of Jesus cleanse you and redeem you. May the Lord cleanse you and redeem you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, my Father. Praise you, my Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Closing your eyes, experience the divine touch of the Lord. Believe the Lord is working amidst. Exodus 33 3, the Lord promises, My presence will accompany you wherever you go. Today, let us believe I have come to the house of prayer. And I am spending this afternoon in the presence of my God. We pray that let His presence may accompany us wherever we go and whatever we do. When the Lord accompanies us, nobody can stand against us. That is what St. Paul says, if God is with you, who can be against you? Surrender the problems of your life. First, we surrender every sickness that we have in our families. You may be sick or someone else may be sick in your house. Surrender the sickness of yours and your dear ones to the merciful hand of Jesus. I invite the Jesus presence to that sickness. So far we have been suffering this alone. Maybe with the help of medicine or without the help of medicine. Today we ask the Lord's presence to come into our sickness. They said, if you choose, I shall be clean. If you say one word, my servant shall be healed. Inviting Jesus' presence to the sickness and to the sick. You pray in your heart, inviting Jesus' presence to your house, to your sickness, or someone whom you are praying for who is in the hospital or in the sick bed. Let, as a centurion prayed, Lord, I am not worthy to have you under my roof, but say one word, my servant shall be healed. Today, surrendering your sickness, you also pray, Lord, I am not worthy to have you with me, but you say one word, my sickness shall be healed. Maybe someone who is sick with incurable sickness, having traumatic situations because of the sickness of several years, no medicines worked out really well, Today you pray, inviting Jesus to your house. Lord, I am not worthy to have you under my roof, but say one word. My father, my mother, my child, my partner, my dear ones will be healed. And so shall it be when you believe. You pray in your heart, in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Abba, Father, I pray over all the sick and suffering who is gathered here right now. And also I pray over people who are praying in proxy for their dear ones who is suffering in the hospital or in the sick bed. I invite the presence of Jesus to enter into the house, enter into the sick bed of your children and heal them right now. Let the healing power of Jesus, as it went out from you to the woman who is suffering with hemorrhage, I pray let the power of the Lord may be released from his body to you who is sick to your dear one who is sick right now. In the holy name of Jesus. In the holy name of Jesus. Right now. Receive the blessing of healing. In the name of Jesus. In the holy name of Jesus. By the power of his precious blood. By the, his three hours of agony on the cross. By all the bruises and stripes on his holy body. I pray let all the sick here be healed in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And we praise our God. Hallelujah. 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 Everyone. Now you believe that you are healed. Now you believe that your dear one is healed. No doubting. Pray in the name of Jesus. St. Julian said, If we say one word, my servant shall be healed. And the 
Lord has said it and he has said it for you and he is seeing you right now. Oh Jesus, in your name I pray, let the power of healing may be extended to your children right now. Heal all the sick and suffering right now. Oh let the heavens be opened and let the grace of God may come upon you in the form of healing, physical healing. Let the sick be healed. Let the lame walk. Let the dumb hear and the dumb speak in the name of Jesus. Oh, healing someone who has boils on your head and while you comb your hair it keeps breaking and there are wounds all over your head and you have severe pain while you combing it and the Lord is healing you. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Someone who came here with severe ear pain especially right here the Lord has completely Heal you from that pain right now. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Someone finding it difficult to pass your urine. You have excruciating pain when you pass your urine. And the Lord has touched you and healed you during this worship. Hallelujah. 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 Lord is healing three people suffering with piles. Believe and pray the Lord is healing that people. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Severe migraine headache. The Lord is healing two of you completely here and now. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Severe burning sensation. When you came, you were okay. And during the service, you are having severe burning sensation in your stomach, severe acidity. And you can feel bitter things coming in your mouth. And you believe right now the Lord says that person is getting healed. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Three people suffering with severe spondylosis. The Lord is healing you completely right now. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Around 13 people suffering with various allergies. Various allergies. Skin allergies, sneezing, cough, irritating, itching throats, so many allergies. The Lord is healing those people completely right now. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your cataract operation is fixed. The date is fixed, but the Lord is removing the blindness from your eyes and without operation, the Lord is healing you. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. One gentleman, you have a problem. You are unable to hold your urine. It passes automatically without your knowledge. And you are praying, you are taking medicine. The Lord is healing you right now. Hallelujah. 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 Severe pain just below your ribcage on the left hand side. The Lord is healing you completely right now from that pain. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Lift your hand and praise you, God, for another minute. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Lord is healing a person who is suffering with mild attack of psoriasis. The Lord is healing that person completely. We are going into depression because of the sickness, but the Lord is healing you and you releasing you from your depression. Hallelujah. 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 You have severe lower abdomen pain, especially on the left side. It started after you came here. And the Lord is taking it away and it is also a kind of deliverance. It is a clear expression of God's deliverance for you. You have been suffering with some kind of bondage and the Lord is giving you a healing, also a deliverance from this problem. Hallelujah! 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 Hallelujah. 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 The person you feel always something is crawling on your body, always here and there it keeps itching and the Lord is healing you right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Keep looking at your God. Now we pray for God's deliverance. The Lord has blessed and healed many of us. Now we pray for God's mighty deliverance. Jesus said in Mark chapter 12, by prayer and fasting, these kind of things will go out. The Lord is referring these things to devils, the power of the demon, the demoniac afflictions, bondages, satanic contracts, witchcrafts, idol worship. Surrender everything that is troubling you, troubling your family. Sometimes your children may be in a bondage, bondage of bad habits, substance abuse, wrong relationship into games, excessive use of media, especially social media, mobile phones, are engaged into premarital sex, leading an immoral life, addicted to pornography, self-abusive sex and several other addictions. Pray. Pray intently for your children. Pray from your heart. The Lord is releasing them Wherever you are, you bless your children and pray that God's protection may go to them. Exodus 33, 3, my presence will accompany you wherever you go. You pray, Lord, let your presence go to my child wherever my child is. He or she may be engaging now even in wrong things, with the wrong relationship, with the wrong people. Or even now, as we pray, they may be committing sin or partnering with someone to commit sin or planning for committing sin or re that they don't want to come out of it. But you pray in the name of Jesus. Wherever my child is, wherever my partner is, wherever my parents or wherever my family member or my dear one is there, Lord, I pray let your presence go. As Centurion said, you say one word, my servant shall be healed. Now you pray, Lord, you say one word, my child shall be delivered. Jesus said, come out and it came out. That's what the power of Jesus. We use the same power of God's word to command the powers of evil to release you right now. Bless yourself, bless your children, bless your family, bless your partner, all your dear and near ones in the holy blood of Jesus. And you believe now the Lord is delivering them. You believe now the Lord is setting them free. 
Pray after me. Jesus, Jesus son, of David, son of David, have mercy on me, have mercy on me and, on my family. and on my family. Jesus, Jesus son, of David, son of David, have mercy on my children, on my children and deliver them, and deliver them from, all from all afflictions, from all bondages. From all bondages. Deliver my child. <laughs> From substance abuse, deliver my child from wrong relationship, deliver my child from bad habits, deliver my child from all illegal relationships, deliver my family, deliver my partner, deliver my parents, deliver the extended members of my family. Oh, holy blood of Jesus, sprinkle upon my family and deliver us and set us free right now in the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, by the cross of Jesus, by the word of Jesus, and by the power of my testimony, and by the power of my testimony, I condemn and I rebuke and I cast out evil powers, satanic powers, all afflictions, all bondages, right now, in the name of Jesus, I belong to Jesus and my family belongs to Jesus. I pray deliverance prayer over you. Lift your hands and pray for deliverance right now. Hallelujah. close your eyes for a couple of minutes experiencing the divine touch of Jesus experiencing the divine touch of Jesus believe you are healed believe you are delivered no more doubting Miracles are meant for people who have faith. 
Have faith in God. Have faith in God. Faith in God doesn't mean that everything will happen the way you want. Faith in God means I surrender myself to the Lord's ways and I wait upon to unfold God's ways. Every time you bless your children, those of them are away from you, staying abroad or staying elsewhere. Bless your family members, your partner and pray to the Lord. Lord, let your presence accompany them. If God is with them, they cannot be doing wrong things. If God is with them, they cannot be getting into wrong habits. If God is with them, the enemy cannot steal their soul. Pray in your heart. And you seal your family with the power of the precious blood of the Lord. As the angel of the Lord sealed the house of Israel in the dark, seal your house and household, your children, your family members, your business with the holy blood of Jesus and no power of the wicked spirit or the violent men can prevail against the power of the blood of Jesus because this is the blood which won victory for us in faith mark the sign of the cross on your forehead and seal yourself seal your family in the holy blood of Jesus in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise, you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.